Welcome back, Fabrication Nation. You came back, so I guess I gotta keep building this thing. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kyle Voss, and I'm taking this Fox Body Mustang and trying to do my version of a hot rod out of it. So I think in the last video, I was finishing up the rear end, kind of making the cantilevers, or putting the cantilevers in there, kind of tacking some of the brackets in there. All that stuff will come back out. I'll reinforce a lot of the points that are in there, maybe strengthen the cantilevers a little bit more. Um, the only thing I had to do that I didn't do in the last video was mount the hydraulic cylinders. And I've had a lot of questions about this. It's pretty simple the way I did it. I uh, just made a sleeve that slides right over the hydraulic cylinder itself. Kind of pivots on some tabs. Those tabs will weld to the frame. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably put some kind of clamp on the bottom side of that hydraulic cylinder. I actually already bought some that will kind of hold that thing in there. I want to put this thing on jack stands. When the rear end droops, I don't want to pull the hydraulic cylinders out of those sleeves. And so I'll have some clamps to go on the bottom. To really make life really easy, if I need to change a hydraulic cylinder, I can just undo that clamp, the thing will slide right out. It's not mounted in there, it's not welded permanently, and so it's kind of, a, kind of the best fix, I guess, for this scenario. Once the hydraulic cylinders were mounted, that kind of finished up the back for now until I blow it apart. Uh, one thing I really need to do is I'm going to move the upper control arms down a little bit, but I want to wait until I get this thing up to the actual ride height. Right now it's still sitting a little bit low. Once I get it up to actual ride height, I'll pull measurements for the geometry on the upper and lower arms and then relocate those where I want them. So for now, that was done. I moved up front, I needed to do the steering. I needed to try to figure out this whole axle setup, A-arm axle setup that I'm going to do. And so the first thing I needed to do was tie in that front piece. So right now, the two bars just come out and end. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of tie those together.
So I just bent, bent a bar, put some holes in it, put some little bungs on there. Gonna run some big 5 8 inch uh, grade 8 bolts to hold those himes in. And then maybe do some kind of like dog bone style plate on the front to kind of make it double shear so it's a little more, a little stronger than what it currently is. Once those were done, then I needed to mount the rack and pinion steering on this thing. Now, I'm not using the rack and pinion that comes on the Mustangs. The Mustang rack and pinion mounts up front. The spindles tie into the tie rod ends up front, and I didn't want that. I kind of wanted to hide that thing behind the axle, uh, the axle, because I'm not really running like a front axle. I'm going to do more of an A-arm setup, but I wanted to hide that thing behind there. So I had to try to do some research, find a rack and pinion that was reverse mount. Uh, I found one in like a Sonata or something. So I got one of those and started kind of mocking it up behind that front part of the A-arm. And it was tight, but it actually worked out really good because the shaft on this thing already had the right uh, size hex for the, for the joints that I use, the steering joints that I use, and the steering shaft that I use. So kind of mocked that stuff up and got it all tacked in. I'm ready to go. I do actually have some like himes that are made to go on these steering shafts to kind of support it. I've got two of them, so I'll get those mounted too. Not gonna worry about it right now. Um, it actually was pretty stable, but uh, you don't wanna mess around with steering or brakes. Those are two things you don't wanna really want to fool with. And so I'll put some of these in there just to kind of give it some stability, make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. So once I had the rack and pinion mounted, had the steering shaft done, all that stuff was kind of like I wanted it. Then it was on to the motor mount. So the only thing that's kind of keeping me from moving the ride height up or down right now is that I've got the engine kind of perched uh, where I want it. So if I move the chassis up, the engine's not gonna move up with it. It'd be too much trouble to try to re-perch the engine. So I figure I get the motor mounts done and then I'll be able to kind of move this thing wherever I want to and I won't have to worry about messing up the motor location versus where it's at in the chassis right now. So that's what I did. Made some motor mounts, had some really thick half inch steel plates in here. I really like the industrial look of these mounts. Cut, weld, drilled holes, all that fancy stuff. Got them in and I'm really happy with them.
I also got some help scuffing the bars. It won't be long. We're going to take the body off this thing and clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to strip it just yet. I think I want to take it to pits with the old paint on there. I kind of want people to be able to see that it was like an old fox body. But everything underneath it's going to be all brand new, nice and clean. and Well, not shiny, but clean. So body will come off. I'm going to fully weld it. I've got a couple more bars to put in it before I do that. Currently working on the front A pillar bars. Going to do the crossbar up front. Got uh, got a lot of support bars I'm going to do uh, in the transmission tunnel and that sort of thing. Just really need to get it strong enough right now to support the engine. So hopefully I can get this thing rolling before pits and we can kind of roll it in and out of the trailer and where we need to put it. Once I get back from pits, then I'll probably add some more stuff. Uh, I've got some pretty good ideas on how I want a lot of the bars. A lot of those bars won't be in there though for pits. All right guys, that's it for this video. As always, thank you for joining me. I will see you Friday for a Friday video. Y'all go do work, son.